Most nitric oxide dietary supplements in the market contain amino acids L-arginine and L-citrulline. And I'm going to reveal to you why those products are not effective. Everyone, Dr. Nathan Bryan, nitric oxide biochemist and physiologist. You know, the discovery of nitric oxide was what revealed that arginine, the cell takes, an enzyme takes L-arginine and converts it to nitric oxide. And a metabolic byproduct of that reaction is the amino acid L-citrulline. So arginine is converted to nitric oxide. We get L-citrulline as a byproduct. What we're finding is that a patient, a person becomes nitric oxide deficient, not because they're deficient in arginine or citrulline. It's because the body's lost the ability to convert arginine to nitric oxide. So it's the function of the enzyme. And so products that contain L-arginine, supplemental L-arginine, are typically not effective at enhancing nitric oxide production because it's not affecting and fixing the function of the enzyme to utilize arginine to make nitric oxide. So number one. And then biochemically, we know that we only need about five micromolar of arginine to bind to the enzyme nitric oxide synthase. And even in the most depleted nitric oxide patients, they have 100, 200 micromolar. That means 20 to 40 times excess arginine than what's needed to make nitric oxide. So again, we're never deficient in arginine and it makes no sense to supplement with L-arginine. And then I hear some people say, well, I prefer L-citrulline. And the people who say this don't understand the basic biochemistry or the companies who put L-citrulline in the products do not understand the underlying biochemistry. Again, L-citrulline is a byproduct of nitric oxide production. It is not a precursor. But L-citrulline can be converted back to arginine through the partial urea cycle. So we get L-citrulline as a byproduct. It binds to an enzyme called arginosuccinate synthase. It creates arginosuccinic acid, arginosuccinic acid, is converted back to L-arginine through an enzyme called arginosuccinate lyase. So citrulline is way far away from nitric oxide production. And again, if you have some type of urea cycle disorder, you can't use citrulline to re reform arginine. Um, so again, people who are using citrulline, companies who are putting citrulline in their product, don't understand the basic science and the basic biochemistry. And for me, that's an easy litmus test for companies who are developing products. If there's arginine or citrulline in the products, they don't understand the science. And if they don't understand the science, how can they provide a product that enhances nitric oxide production? So again, our body makes sufficient arginine and citrulline through the parsley urea cycle. Arginine and citrulline are part of the amino acids of most proteins, animal protein, plant proteins. Uh, so these are semi-essential amino acids. We're never deficient in them. They're never the reason why people are nitric oxide deficient. So it makes no sense to supplement with these products. So save your money. Don't waste your money on arginine, citrulline-based products. Buy products that actually produce nitric oxide gas. If your body can't make it, that's where my product technology comes in. We do it for you. And by the way, we restore the function of the enzyme. So now your body can convert the arginine that's naturally present from your diet, from normal metabolism, into nitric oxide without the need for supplemental L-arginine and we're restoring the normal flora, the secondary redundant backup pathway. So if your body can't make nitric oxide, my product technology does it for you, and we repair your body's ability to produce this molecule naturally. And I encourage you to check those out. You can get out my products at n101.com. So not only is there no benefit from taking arginine in terms of producing nitric oxide or enhancing nitric oxide production, there actually can be some, some harm done. And there's the vintage study uh, from 2006 where they gave post-infarct patients high dose L-arginine with the intent of improving their nitric oxide production. But the outcomes of the study was that the patients who were giving the arginine had higher mortality than the placebo group. That means that the L-arginine killed more people than the placebo. And that study in a Wilson paper in 2007 in patients with peripheral heart disease showed that patients who got arginine did worse than the patients who got the placebo. And the conclusions and the interpretations from both those studies is that arginine should not be recommended in post-infarct patients or in patients with peripheral heart disease, because it provides no benefit, it can actually provide harm.